In recent attacks on council housing, council tenants have increasingly been portrayed negatively in the media and elsewhere. Home ownership has been promoted by governments as the norm, and with massively reduced council housing stocks, only the least advantaged households now get council homes. That doesn't make those of us who are council tenants inarticulate, antisocial, lazy scroungers on the state. And nor does living in council housing make us so. Over the years, these estates have got a reputation. Now, yes, maybe there is a few odd people that cause a nuisance. But we have nurses, we have a doctor, we have teachers. And because we're unfortunate, and I say unfortunate, not to be able to have the money to buy our own. This is how we're stigmatised. I've said this more than once publicly that if you live in a council estate in a council home, you are treated like half person or half people. And half measures is what you get. And that's why at times it, it is very irritating and very upsetting. There is no reason why somebody living in a council estate shouldn't aspire to the same as anyone else in, in, in the community. Because we are a part of the community. I've lived there for now eight years. And I've, I, I, I mean, I've not had any, any serious problems, so I don't see it as, a, it as an issue. It's just that uh, because the public has a, has a different perception and uh, this was marked down because even the national press gave it a very bad publicity. That was the biggest drawback this estate had. The fact that 60% plus of all social housing residents, including those in temporary accommodation, are in receipt of some form of housing benefit it says more about the cost of accommodation. If you actually give somebody an idea as how to improve themselves, and it's there, they won't have an excuse not to. Because if they make an excuse, you can say, I've provided it for you. That's where you need to go. But if it's not there, and you're the authority that's supposed to provide it, you're actually putting people, like I say, in a type of economic slavery. I've always felt that the community side is extremely important um, and have worked with the different communities, whether it was through my children's school situation, I became a parent governor and worked with the schools while they were at that level and then became a parent governor at the secondary level when they went to new schools and then eventually went on to become the chair of the local forum when the uh, council decentralised certain functions. I have gone out of my way to join to TA and to try and improve things, as a lot of people have on this estate. We started running an after school club. Now first of all we did a summer play scheme to see how it would go. Then we start after that year, we did three, week, three days play scheme, after school club to see how, you know, like if we had a buyer for it, you know, anyone was interested. And then we did, you know, like quite a few kids started to use us, you know, like from outside the estate and on the estate. We are no different to the people living in private accommodation. We are exactly the same and we all have our different aspirations. There are almost half a million families renting council homes in London. Their estates form a stable core for local communities with facilities that are enjoyed by all the population. More of London's homeless and overcrowded families should have the right to live in secure affordable homes that council housing provides and without being stigmatised by the media.